Xpeng has just revealed its affordable new electric sedan, which it says was designed by artificial intelligence. Well, if this is what artificial intelligence designs, then um, count me out personally. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking Xpeng. I quite like Xpeng as a company. I think they've got some great products, some great cars. I like the designs of their cars. This is the only one uh, where I've seen it and gone, what the hell were they thinking? And judging by some forum comments that I've seen, other people, I believe, pretty well agree with me here, which is nice. Anyway, guys, this is the new Xpeng Mona. Yeah, literally, it's called the Mona. I don't know if they know what Mona translates to in a, a wide range of <laughs> different languages. It's probably not what they think it does. Anyhow. Xpeng today shared an image of the Mona M03, the first model from their sub-brand codenamed Mona. This shows the model's side design, the rear of the car, and there's some images of the front as well. They said the Xpeng Mona M03 will say goodbye to boredom. Yeah, it certainly doesn't look boring, does it? Actually, I think it does look boring, kind of boringly ugly, but anyway. Unlike yesterday's post um, of the first image, um, Xpeng have, well, now revealed the name, the Mona M03. Interestingly, back in March of this year, Xpeng CEO said that the company would reveal a new electric car with prices starting from 13,800 US dollars. However, I don't think this is it. At an AI Day event on May the 20th, he said the first Mona model would be unveiled in June. So this is basically it. In announcing its acquisition of ride-hailing giant Diddy Global's electric vehicle business on the 28th of August in 2023, Xpeng, well then that was when it said it would launch this new brand. Now apparently, they actually used Diddy's artificial intelligence to design this vehicle. And a lot of people are saying, yeah, I'm not a fan of it, don't like it. Personally, I'm in that camp. I think it does not look good at all. Anyhow. The first model, the first Mona vehicle, will be an A-class smart electric vehicle to be launched in 2024, and the new model and brand will differentiate itself from Xpeng branded products and the main brand, it said last year. So this is meant to be not an Xpeng, it's meant to be a Mona. But as you can see on the marketing here, it says Xpeng. So I'm a little confused by that, to be honest with you. Now, apparently, um, this vehicle, Mona, stands for Made of New AI. So... M-O-N-A, made of new AI, okay, with a focus on intelligent driving. The Xpeng M03 is a collaboration between Xpeng and Diddy, um, but Diddy is responsible, or Diddy's AI is responsible for the design, partially the R&D, and sales. Xpeng is responsible for the partial R&D as well, supply chain and manufacturing, as well as sales to ordinary consumers. It is worth pointing out that Mona says can't use China, was previously considered to be a sub-brand under Xpeng. Anyhow, apparently there is only going to be three different colors. Blue, beige blue, and beige pink. So, yeah, interesting. Now, I personally don't like the front of it, don't like this, the back of it, don't like anything. This car has just rubbed me the wrong way. I actually am a big fan of, like I said, Xpeng vehicles in general. I'm probably going to get an email today, guys, from Xpeng saying, you, you, you shouldn't have said this stuff. I've gotten a few of these in the past, by the way. But honestly, guys... This just doesn't look right. Now, apparently they've said the range will exceed 500 kilometers and it will use BYD's blade batteries. So that's a positive. Um, yeah, price, 27,000 US dollars. Thanks for watching.